This is the tranquil English shoreline that awaited Nazi invaders during the war years. And here, filmed for the first time, is the secret weapon concealed along her coast that would have been England's first greeting for approaching hostile forces. Defense by fire. Pipelines laid out into the sea beyond low tide level carried oil mixed with a special chemical that ignites on contact with seawater. At thousands of vulnerable locations on the English coast, these pipelines were installed, designed to be electrically set off at the touch of a button. England's Ministry of Petroleum Warfare has revealed that rumors of this threat of death by fire to invaders reached the Nazis in the dark months after Dunkirk. The Nazi high command ordered 100,000 asbestos suits in Paris and tested them out on the coast of France. The headgear proved defective and thousands of Nazi soldiers were burned to death in their own fires. Beach installations formed a second line of defense. From secret control stations, pressure is released, and a flame barrage rises to form a wall of raging inferno. The wall of fire that prevented Nazi invasion of the United Kingdom was also planned to make practical use of vast stocks of oil and prevent their seizure by the enemy if the invasion succeeded. Similar flame defenses built by the Nazis for Germany were destroyed by the RAF in a series of raids on German installations and control stations. And the RAF's all-out air offensive prevented the Nazis from ever rebuilding them. Heat from these shore jetties reaches an intensity in excess of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Behind the first water and shoreline infernos, the peaceful countryside also had its defenses ready. Should enemy tanks by any conceivable chance crack through the first two walls of flame, a series of innocent looking tar barrels were waiting at strategic locations. These 60 gallon drums gush blazing fuel 150 feet in any direction. The intense heat would bake tank crews inside their armored vehicles instantaneously.
the final defense devised by Britain's Ministry of Petroleum Warfare was a mobile anti-aircraft flame unit that could project a massive tongue of flame high into the air. Low-flying German planes would have been burned in flight. And so England waited for the invasion that never came, ready to defend herself whatever the cost might be prepared to fight until the last vestiges of Nazi tyranny had been burned out of Europe.